Today's Ask Reddit post, what's an example of no good deed goes unpunished? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one, let's get started. To be neighborly, I once gave the couple next door some fresh veggies from my garden. Thereafter, whenever I was at work, they'd raid the garden and take whatever they wanted without asking permission. You should start growing ghost peppers. Guy lost his id for work. I brought him directly to security to get it sorted and they fired me on the spot for allowing a trespasser entrance. Okay what the duck. That is pretty much what I said. What industry did you work in though I feel like this is relevant to the situation. At the same time. FFS I totally feel you. Oil and gas. Zero tolerance for this stuff. I am at fault I am not disputing that. But I didn't know any better. Saving a girl from getting hit by a car. Me getting hit in the process. But it turned into a hit and run and the girl left me behind on the concrete road. What the actual duck. It is what it is. In the great words of Tom Segura. Some people suck. Words to live by my friend. Words to live by. Cal Poly University had an incident in the 80s that made the school paper. There was a former mouseketeer who worked in food services and one day a student asked for help because his purchase hung in the vending machine. She opened it and gave it to him. But an alarm went off. She waited for security and explained things to them. But still lost her job. One day you're a TV performer watched by millions. Later in life you're fired because of a snack. Cal Poly failed me in a class because my professor accused me of cheating. He didn't have any proof. Other than that I did better on one test than another. But as they said he's tenured so we have to side with him. I ducked off. Finished my degree at another school. And got a job in my dream industry within a month of graduation. Not really related to the prompt. But yeah duck Cal Poly. This almost happened to me for a project in my Ms. Server course. Teacher accused me of cheating because the log files show you just copied someone else's server and didn't do it yourself. So I sat with him for 8 hours one day doing the exact same project over and over again showing him that I know how to do it myself and that I wasn't cheating. Only for him to say well the log files still don't show you're doing it yourself so I made him sit right next to me for 45 minutes and watch me do the project to prove to him I wasn't cheating. He was still pissed off at me for some reason when he could've just watched me do it myself the first time instead of accusing me of cheating. My uncle got a battlefield commission in the Korean War. After that he did various stuff like teaching an officer candidate school. Through the infinite wisdom of the marines. He eventually had to take the class he used to teach. For the final. He scribbled a bunch of answers and turned it in after 15-20 minutes. Afterwards the teacher told him he would be charged with cheating and honor code violation for submitting correct answers so fast. My uncle asked, do you know who taught this class before you? No I don't. Well, go check because it was me. I wrote about 3 stroke 4 of that final. It didn't come out that he had taught the course previously until the final. I was an events florist. This bride lost her grandmother days before her event and asked if I would make a small vase arrangement to place next to her photo on a memorial table. Of course. I said it would be similar to her smaller centerpieces. Great. She asked how much and I said I would cover it happily. In the review she complained that the memorial piece which was supposed to be very special looked too much like the centerpieces. God forbid your free flowers be cohesive with your event you cow. She's lucky you didn't make one for her. Oof. At work. If you're good at your job. That's awesome. That means you get to do everyone else's job too. I know this isn't your responsibility. But I know that if I assign this to you. It'll get done. Fuck that noise. My response is usually. Well. If they can't get their job done. Maybe they need to be replaced. Also. Then you don't get your own job done. So now multiple tasks aren't complete and it's all your fault. You're not a team player. Clean out your desk. Which one? I have like four of them. No way they're going to wait for you to clean out four. Security will escort you out and you'll get all your shit in a box in the mail. I wrote a semi-popular plugin for a software package that's common in my field and released it open source. Provided as is. No guarantee. Warranty. 
or support is promised. Occasionally I get an email asking a question which I am happy to answer if reasonable. I'm currently in a dispute with a very angry professor in California who somehow thinks that I need to support him set up an entire bioinformatics pipeline because someone in his lab tried to download my free plugin. A girl transferred into my school when we were 10 and bullied the shit out of everyone. She threatened the other kids, including me, not to tell on her, otherwise she'd make us regret it, and basically had a complete reign of terror over us. After about a year, I snapped and ended up being the one to tell the teacher everything she'd done and how she was treating us, and she got expelled. A lot of the other kids thanked me for turning her in, because I don't think it would have ended if someone hadn't, and we enjoyed the rest of our school years in peace. Nine years later, Despite moving to a new town and getting an entirely new group of friends, the bitch showed up out of nowhere and ducked my boyfriend. Damn. She waited a long time for revenge. That sucks. I'd literally forgotten she existed in the 9 years we'd been apart. I never saw her the whole time. Moved to a new town. Lost contact with anyone who used to know her. I was so confused and shocked when she just walked straight into my friendship group one day as though she belonged there, and started introducing herself to everyone. She shot me a look that kinda said I know who you are but never said a word to me, and then went home with my boyfriend. He confessed to what happened and I just left the pair of them to be assholes together. Fuck that shit. Definitely duck that shit. Good for you for leaving them in the dust. Haha <laughs> thanks. I have no idea what either of them are doing these days and I'm glad to have no contact with them. Saw two ladies from my office building struggling to load a table into van. They were moving from our building to a new place. I told them if they removed the legs it will be easier. And it will take less space. They told me they didn't have the tools. Allen keys. So I went upstairs and brought my set down. When I started to remove the legs. They insisted they will do it and bring the set back to my office. After a while I went downstairs. They were gone. Of course I should have figured they would take the set with them to reassemble the table at the new place. Never saw them again. Felt like an idiot. I have a drawer full of Allen keys of all sizes because if someone doesn't steal them they will just walk off on their own anyway. All sizes except 3 stroke 16. You mean. Sounds like a reverse version of the lost 10mm for socket wrenches. 10mm for mechanical and in car rental the 14mm ones used on baby seat anchors. We have multiple sets with number 10mm or 14mm but everything else is there. Basically anytime I do something extra for a customer, I give them the benefit of the doubt and take care of something that's borderline, they are always the people that file a complaint about OMG. Poor service. My office has a mantra that no good deed goes unpunished. I've learned that the hard way at my office. 2. I work in plan review and construction inspecting. Sometimes they make a minor mistake that is still up to code, just not our standards. And they beg me to let them sit idle. But when I do, they make the same mistake over and over in the future. As it saves them money, even though they know darn well what they were supposed to do this time. So often they are like well, you allowed it in this case. Oh, you mean the one I wanted you to rip out and replace with our standard material but let you slide to save you $20. Zero zero zero. Screw you. Always. Being nice once becomes how you do things now in their eyes and not just that they got a little break and you're the bad guy. I let a friend of a friend stay with me while she got herself together for a little over twice as long as originally intended after going out of my way in the extreme she walked out one evening without a word said with my grandmother's silver. Place settings. Appreciation indeed. But remember this. My brother, see in this some higher plan. You must use this precious silver to become an honest man. 246 or 1. I gave money and made light conversation with a panhandler who frequented my campus. He ended up stalking me across three different address changes. I learned in NYC the homeless are homeless for a reason. Stay away. One morning at a NYC McDonald's there was a homeless guy filling up all his bottles. All I said was excuse me so I could get my soda and he flips out. 
telling me to go duck myself and calling me the n-word. I live in a dorm and I am usually giving out stuff to people who need them, whether it's cups or tea or whatever. Without noticing people got comfortable and my room has become an all you can grab raid fest. Waking up every morning with one less item from my room. Had a similar experience living in on campus. I was making good money and doing well. So I bought bulk paper towels from Costco and let my housemates use a roll or two. Pretty soon people were stealing directly from my cupboard. During the Denver riots people started handing out water from their storefronts to help those who had gotten irritating substances in their eyes, mouth, throat, and lungs. In response, the Denver police shot gas canisters into their stores, causing property damage. Source. I know one of the shop owners. Oh right. Like the Seattle riots, where SPD targeted medics multiple times. This happened in Columbus too. Police dumped or confiscated stashed water for clearing tear gas and pepper spray, and also tear gassed multiple people wearing clothing obviously marking them as medics. Anywhere without good Samaritan laws. These laws protect you from being sued when you're only seeking to help someone. Sansweet didn't want to be saved, and the injuries received from Mr. Incredible's so-called actions cause him daily pain. You didn't save my life. You ruined my death. Apostrophe. TBF. I'm depressed as is. If I am gonna die, I'm all over that. But if some asshole decides that he wants to be a hero, and I'm left a paraplegic for the rest of my long miserable life, because euthanasia is illegal here, I'm gonna be upset. Only his right arm had a fractured bone. Dr. Anthony Fossey. I feel so bad for this guy. He spent his entire life studying and researching to be prepared for exact moments like this. When it's finally time everyone just starts discrediting everything he says and ignore every piece of advice. If you speak the truth, have a foot in the stirrup. Turkish proverb. Alan Turing created the first computer as we'd think about it by cracking the Enigma code. He was rewarded by being chemically castrated for being gay. Old homeless guy asked me form some change. Told him I would buy him a sandwich instead. Started yelling at me. And tried to kick me in the chins. Update. Yes. Me being a portly fellow. You can imagine my surprise at the man's physical acuity. Either you're fat and he's flexible. Or you meant shins. I won't lie. I kinda prefer the mental image of the first. He tore off his raggedy leg and tried smacking his chin. Chins. I saw a man about my age drop his wallet, so I picked it up and tried to get his attention. His girlfriend turns around screaming at me that I'm a dumb BTCH and that he's obviously taken you thirsty WH re. So I just put the wallet on the ground in front of her and walked away from that mess. Put it on the ground? You're a better person than me. I would have yeeted it as far as I could. I re all I, I wanted to, but the guy seemed pretty embarrassed by it. Yeah well. He apparently has shitty taste in women. Who knows? You could have saved him you enchilada slut. I never read usernames and I didn't this time until you pointed it out. What the f is an enchilada slut and how can I be one? I was helpful to a new person I work with. Now she tells people things are my job when they ask her a question. We don't even work in the same department. I worked with a woman who would constantly ask me how to do things. At first I would tell her to be helpful, but she kept asking long after she should have gotten everything on her own. I still helped to be nice. Later I realized she was asking me because anytime she messed up she would blame it on me that's how Loretri told me to do it. And my boss would get mad at me. I think after the second time I got in trouble for her mistakes. If she asked me how to do something I would say that I didn't know. But then her new tactic turned into suddenly remembering that she had to go to the storeroom anytime a customer came in. Any and every job that punishes employees for reporting broken tools, or legitimate safety hazards or grievous workplace violations. That's against HSAW regulations established in 1974. It's the employee's duty to report broken equipment but the employee can't be asked to pay. That must be about the one labor safety law the US has left by now. 
At work I was on break while my co-worker was covering my job. When I come back he says he was trying to receive our customers packages in the system but something screwed up and asked if I could take a look at it while he went on his break. Said no problem. Turns out he ducked up on the steps and now we can't go back to fix it so I tell the manager the situation. I specifically didn't mention who caused it so that I didn't come off petty trying to blame someone. Next day they have all of us retrain on the process and made sure to tell everyone it's because I ducked it up. I love the user. Helping a classmate in pay performing a handstand and when I ask her to do the same for me she abandons me and I almost break my neck. What a dick. Yep, yeah, I'm still salty about that one but no hard feelings. I mean this is almost nothing compared to other stories in this thread. Rented out a mother-in-law space to a single mom looking for a fresh start in the 8 months she lived there. She had 3 roommates she wasn't supposed to have, we evicted 2 of them. Trashed the place to the point it cost us thousands of dollars to clean out her junk. And somehow broke the sink in the bathroom. Which was the only source of water aside from the bathtub. We ended up evicting her. And a year later she threatened to sue us for her stuff. I hope you sued her for the damages. Can't get blood from a turnip. Suing her would have been a waste of time and money. We just chalked it up as a lesson learned and were more careful when we rented the space out the next time. I gave my mom a place to live and got her a job to help her get back on her feet. She talked shit about me to all my co-workers, spreading lies and rumors, not realizing that my co-workers loved me and were telling me everything she said. Then she stole more than $1000 out of my bedroom by guessing my lockbox combination. If you don't mind me asking, when did this happen? 2016. Why do you ask? I was thinking that this would be some time ago and you haven't spoken to your mom since. Apologies if I offended you in any way. Oh no. I actually had a real heart to heart with my mom a year or so after that. She's changed her life and we are very close now. I'm not offended. I thought you might know me ha ha. This happened to me three times. There would be someone who was new. School or work and was getting bullied and I would stand up for them and be friends with them and have them become friends with my friend group and then they turn it around and get everyone to bully me. It's almost makes me want to second guess if I should help people now. In high school the school I went to wanted to reward the teachers that went above and beyond to help their students understand the material. They did this by paying the teachers a bonus based on the average grade the students received in their classes. Naturally this just led to teachers forging grades for their students or dumbing down the material. On the plus side it was during this time that I got an A on a paper I never wrote. Teaching is only about data. Admin puts pressure on teachers. Teachers put pressure on students. Teachers then get backlash from parents. Nothing gets resolved. I would forge grades for a bonus too. At a previous job, just for the summer with half being kept on, a certain person would call in such every weekend. Her partner had weekends off. How very convenient. She'd give exactly the same excuse every time. Just can't come in. Too sick. Management tried talking to her to find out if it were doctor's appointments or another job but nope. Apparently she would just feel sick. I covered her every single time I could and would often do 16 days straight when they didn't like anyone doing more than 5 in a week. At the end of the summer, I was told I was no longer wanted while the person who phoned in sick was kept on. They struggled to cover her regular sick days after that. Edit. Forgot to add. She was also pretty dishonest and they knew but turned a blind eye. We had to sell guidebooks and she'd offer the customers one each and tell them they were free. They're not. If anyone questioned the price they were paying, she'd tell them the prices had just gone up that morning but they hadn't got around to updating the prices around the entrance or tills or on the website. Complaints were put in but mostly ignored. She quit a few months later after she was seen in uniform kissing her girlfriend on the busy shop floor and claimed it was homophobic that they mentioned anything. Relative of the owners. Or sexual favors. Neither. Just kept on because her dishonesty gained big guys upstairs more money. A client asked if I could help them get into rehab for addictions and I knew someone on the inside who could pull strings and hold a bed there for them. 
Guess how the client repaid myself and my friend? They tried to smuggle drugs into the rehab for another patient there. FML I looked like such an idiot because I thought for sure that my client was ready and willing to try and get sober and I was really sad for them. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.